This RSBNB Update nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update 732, Fossil Island Out of Time. Enjoy. People like the way that it looks. And in general, I think that this update was a success because we're not seeing much pushback against it. And my grand theory for this whole thing, this whole update the land out of time is is that we're not done with it we're going to be definitely seeing more this summer we're going to probably be seeing a quest and some lore coming out of it in terms of the dragonkin stuff because that just makes total sense with all the dragonkin statues and whatnot there and my sense and you guys correct me if i'm wrong on this is that this is an expansion by any other name because they're going to keep adding on to yes. it. That has been confirmed. There's going to be lore and quests that are going to take place on the island following desperate times. And this has as much or if not more content than Menifos did. Yep. It's, it's an expansion. I think it's on – I don't – do you – I think there's more content here than Menifos. I don't know if it has Menifos. as much. See, I don't know. I don't know if I can agree with that. I, I'm, I'm not sure there, there's – it's definitely had a different reception. I don't know if there's more. I mean, maybe. Uh, I don't. I, I think that's one of the really interesting questions that we probably should dive into um, over the next few weeks of why is this so different? Why is yeah. why has this been received so and differently I from what it's when it's not that, that different? I have an well, answer. I can tell you why. Different. You know I what the answer is? The an- Let me see it's if we got the same answer. level. That's part of it. But we only knew there was going to be hunter stuff, slayer stuff, and agility stuff. We didn't know the details about any of it. And we were left largely, in this case, to discover most of it on our own. Whereas hmm. with Metaphos, everything was hyped up. Everything for six months. For, is hyped up for six <laughs> yeah. months, and it was geared towards that mid-level piece of content. Whereas with this, you know, looking at big game hunter... You can start at 75, and for all intents and purposes, that is mid-level in this day and age. You could start the agility course at level 30, but you're not going to get very far on it. So you can do parts of it. It goes all the way up to 85. Right. Um, and you know, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, players were not expecting something on the level of Prif. Players were not expecting no. – or players were expecting Prif 2.0 with Menaphos when that came out. But it was yeah, severely they, they overhyped, did. whereas everything here was kept on the down low until about last month. We didn't even know this was releasing this week until last week's stream. Though if you put two and two together with the Breaking the Storm event, you could have extrapolated yeah. this date. Yeah. And I think when it comes down to it at the end of the day, the reason this is successful is because it was it was underhyped and overdelivered. That's what it comes down to, and it looks really damn good too. It's well, I definitely that agree sites. with that. Under oh, underhyped, um, they they seem to get the right level of that this time. I thought, um, yeah, I, I think I think you're right about that. Go, yeah. sorry, go ahead. And yeah, I was going to say, it's funny that you guys say that people you spoke to have not really enjoyed much of the content other than look, because in my clan, you know, thieves has loved all the agility. Uh, you know, there, there's. In my clan, I mean, a lot of people. There's different areas. I mean, I love what they've done with Hunter. I, I, I think they've uh, they've perfected Hunter. Uh, I love the management of the uh, base camp, that type of thing. You know, Slay is my favourite uh, task, and you know, hunting new souls. So, you know, I've enjoyed pretty much every aspect. I haven't tried big game Hunter yet. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to just enjoy different sections i didn't want to rush through and just yeah. do a little bit of everything you know i want to be oh, hey, i'm enjoying this uh, i enjoy that agility course of yeah yes it's an eight minute run but you know it, it's that chance of making money and not just clicking and, and just being bored in that same circle over and over again see i prefer that type of thing so uh, and, and you know just, a lot of my clan, they're all they're all loving the agility course as well so it's yeah. it, it's funny yeah. that that different it's yeah, a different, different perspective. perspective of different and I'd people, also like yeah. to point out another reason, the third reason it's successful in addition to being underhyped and overdelivered, being graphically beautiful, is that there's stuff to exploit. People love when there's something to exploit with an update, whether it brings them in GP or XP or interesting new drops. And you got that with Big Game Hunter. You got that with the mm. agility course. And you got that with the Slayer 
uh, creatures out there. So that's why everything being focused on um, is, in general, receiving a good reception this first mm. week is because people can exploit it no matter their level. Yeah. And I think that, you know, the, the agility course, everyone's got, oh, you know, uh, course. And I know people were worried about that at the start, how, how long is it going to take? But all of a sudden, you can make GP out of it. And that's just, you know, that got everyone hyped. Uh, though, though, as you said, you know, they didn't tell us everything. There's a lot of it to discover ourselves. And that is what's made it a lot better update, uh, a, lot, a lot better received update than Manifos. Yep, I completely agree. And that's where it's at with this. And, and that's what they should do more And hopefully of. they learned that. And yeah. Um, yeah. just a quick throwback to the monthly bit, we actually suggested they do that rather than, you know, not necessarily hyping stuff. Let's just have a month of surprise updates and let the game carry itself and see how it goes. Mm. 